Hey YouTube, this is Tech Savvy Solution here. I'm here with my video review of the 20 top apps, tweaks, and mods from the Cydia store that I think every jailbroken iPhone or iPod Touch user should have. So you can see, I'm on my iPhone 4. Kind of, um, made my own case here. But, here's my list of the... I don't think you can see it, but of the Cydia apps I think every jailbroken user should have. I'll put it in the video description. But onto the first one, I'm going to try and cover all 20 in about 15 minutes. So the first one is going to be Lock Info. What it does is display your weather. And if you like click on the left, you have a calendar. And you also have your notifications, your calendar, you have your mail. You also have your Twitter slide to unlock. You can also access this on your home screen. Or you can access it in any other app. Like let's say Safari. Um, you can access it here. You can download plugins from Cydia to customize what your lock info looks like. And you can also manage a plugin order so that's just a few things that you can do with lock info. Next one on the list is Winterboard. I'm going to select some themes that you can download from Cydia. And over Spring. I edited I edited some of the themes and like mix and match from several themes, put them into one. So my iPhone will look a little bit different. Then you can slide to unlock and look at the icons. They're different. Go back to Safari and you can see the interface is different. If I go to weather, background is different, it's black instead of blue. Little things like that. Next one is going to be iFile. And I mentioned that I edited some themes and this is what you can do. You can go to themes. And these are all the themes you can down that I downloaded from Cydia and for my mod the theme that I modded you can access all the files that will theme your phone and you can mix and match and stuff so I think iFile is a good file manager for iPhone if you don't want to connect it to a computer and you just want to edit files on the go it's really it's great because you have bookmarks you can go to your home and you have settings And that's iFile. Next one on the list is Summer Board Settings, which you can activate by sliding on status bar. And it will display your free memory, as well as your IP address. I've got to block that out. And then you can go to your processes, like delete. Or you can like turn on and off airplane mode by phone. You can do fast notes, hi, or adjust the brightness right on summer board settings, or turn on and off your Wi-Fi. Right, next one on the list is Multiflow with Backgrounder, and it's pretty much a new um, multitasking interface. It's an alternative to the one like this one that comes with iOS iOS 4, you can just go like this, and then you have your multitasking interface. Let me just open up some programs so you can see and have a better look. Say so I want to go to calendar, then like settings, and then here you can see screenshots of all the apps I'm currently running. Go back to iFile. And do like this again, go to calendar, and settings again. Next app I'm going to review is Remove Background. And it's sort of related to Multiflow with Backgrounder. Um, it's sort of like the one-click-kill one button.
for all the apps so you don't have to go to like the sum board settings and kill all the processes like one by one all you have to do is you can either download the app or download the app and the sum board settings toggle and you just hit the button remove background and if you go here there's no more backgrounding tasks no backgrounded apps it's just a one hit kill and i think it's really useful for people who are multitasking and want to kill all their apps at once now the next tweak that i'm going to be reviewing is actually quite useful in my opinion android users like have had this for a long time and if you plug your phone into the computer usually for the iphone you'll get this like oh it it's synchronizing right now if you slide to unlock you're gonna cancel synchronization so with this app it's called synchrosity and it allows you to use your phone while it's synchronizing with itunes it says itunes sync in progress and on the computer it'll be synchronizing with your iphone but you can still use your iPhone while it's synchronizing, as you can see. You can check the weather. And I just accidentally unplugged it. But you get the idea, right? It allows you to use your phone while it's synchronizing with iTunes. Gotta fix this case. Make the openings bigger. Anyways. Next one that I'm going to be reviewing. Is Ultra Snow for unlocking your iPhone to use it with other carriers besides AT&T. All you have to do is go to Cydia and search Ultra Snow. Um, just search like Ultra and it'll come up as Ultra Snow and you'll be able to unlock your iPhone. So that's pretty easy, no demonstration needed. Next one is Advanced Preferences. You can also download it from Cydia and you apply it by going to Winterboard and selecting Advanced Preferences. I think you saw that earlier. What it allows you to do is unlock different like options that were not available for your iPhone before so let's say we want to go to general and auto lock you have a lot more options as to how long your phone will stay on before it locks by itself there are other things too um, for springboard I have a custom carrier T Savvy Lucio for Tech Savvy Solution and it's on my status bar over here. It just gives you a lot more options. I thought it was necessary if you're gonna jail if you jailbroke your iPhone and you want more options, it's this is probably the best one on the Cydia store. Next up I'm gonna be reviewing is browser changer. So Browser Changer isn't an app when you download it from Cydia. You actually go to your settings and then Browser Changer is in here. And then you can enable the changer and change it to whatever browser you downloaded from the App Store. In my case, it's Atomic. So let me demo that. Go to my notes. And I have pocketnow.com, for example. And it'll show up here right on the Atomic browser. Now that brings us to the next one on the list, which is Frash, F R A S H, which is Flash for the iPhone. And if you go to a website that has Flash content, then it'll display this little gray box with Flash, and you just click on it, and then it'll start displaying the Flash content on your iPhone. So that's Flash for the iPhone. So that brings us to our next app, which is Safari Download Manager 1.5. It's compatible with iOS 4. So let's say I want to download a constitution. Say download. And you click on this icon over here. And it's done downloading. And then you can either open an iBooks, iFile, or I have iSilo. So let's say iBooks. Oh, 
Um, let's just say no. And here it is, the constitution. So that's pretty cool. Next one in terms of downloading, um, it's called MyTube or MXTube on Cydia. I think MyTube got banned from the App Store, so you'll have to download it from Cydia. I still have MyTube because I downloaded it before it got banned. <laughs> so, say we don't want to download that. Say we want to download iPhone 4. Let's download this one. It's fun. Okay, so we want to download through Wi Fi. It started. Close that, and we can see it's downloading right here. We don't have to wait till it's finished, but just to show you that it works, you can download your videos right onto your iPhone. Next one is Categories SB. And I've you've seen it before, seen this. You can hold more than the 12 apps that are limited to the iOS folders. And it's just as snappy as the iOS folders. It's categories. Next tweak is page preview. And you can see I'm, I'm going to slide my finger around along the dots on the bottom, the arrows on the bottom. And it'll give you a preview of each page. So if you're too lazy and you don't want to scroll through all your pages, you can do that right here and you'll know, oh, wait, there, there's a YouTube app. And then it'll scroll right there. If you have a lot of apps and you're not going to use categories, and you can use this tweak. Next one I'm going to show you is Gridlock. And it allows you to move your phone and or your icons anywhere without the use of blank icons. And you can have any layout that you want. That's pretty cool. The other one I'm going to show you is called Multi Icon Mover. It allows you to move icons, multiple icons, at once, except for folders. Say so I want all of these on the first page. I'm going to press Home now, and voila, they're all there. One of the last ones is Side Elite. And let's say I downloaded a GPS phone. I don't want it, but I don't want to go to Cydia to uninstall it. I can just uninstall from my home page, just like any other regular App Store app. Say delete, and it's gone. There you go. Now, this app is only for um, iOS 4, or for iPhone 4, because it has the LED flash. It's called... Oh, I just spoiled my last one. Anyways, it's called Flashlight or Spring Flash, and you can download it from the Cydia store. So you can activate it in various methods. You can go into settings and change that. But what I'm, what I activate it from, is from the lock screen, and I press the home button, and then here's the flashlight for the iPhone four. And you can also hold this button again and turn it off. So the last tweak that I'm going to show you is something I think I accidentally spoiled earlier in the review. Um, it's called SB Rotator and it allows you to rotate your springboard in all four directions. If you think the animation is still is a little slow for you, you can disable animations, change the animation, change the speed of the animation, or if you think that your icons are like too smushed together, you can change the spacing of it. And there's just a lot of options for this tweak. But I'm just going to show you that it does work. And it's pretty nifty. So that's the end of the review. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please rate, comment, or subscribe. And I'll see you guys later in the next video review or tutorial.